Ooh, ooh, fish on already. Oh, it's a tarpon. Bro, here we go, our first tarpon of the day. I'm telling you, I love tarp, uh, topwater fishing, but when you're topwater fishing for a giant fish like a tarpon, oh my God, it's just so much better. What's going on, everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub, and today, big deal, big deal, because we are headed to Blue Crab Island, everyone. Everyone has been talking about Blue Crab Island. We've been there once. We had the Bass Boat Explorer Pack when it came to Fishing Planet, giving us a, a portion of their game to try out uh, for a few videos, show people what all is in the pack and whatnot. And I do have a lot of that stuff, but I am choosing not to use it. I bought all of my stuff um, from sturgeon fishing, from doing other activities, which I'm sure you can go back and watch those videos or watch future videos. So make sure to subscribe and like the video as always. But um, yeah, we're gonna go to Blue Crab today. I'm gonna go through our equipment. Um, first, there is one big thing I need to do as I head over to the shop here and go straight to the boats as well as to the back of the pages because this Gary Scott Orion bass boat $391,000 is now mine, bro. Cash bag three, spend a certain amount of credits per day. Look at that X series float we just got as well. Top notch. Well, we got the Gary Scott ba Bass Boat. Um, as you can see, that's gonna take us down way low on our budget here, but there it is, the Gary Scott Orion Bass Boat. And if we go into our inventory, we can also see Gary Scott Scorpius Bass Boat, which we got from the Bass Boat Explorer Pack. But like I said, we're not using it. We have the Fringin Fish uh, Monstrosity Kayak as well you get from doing the Halloween missions. So a lot of people ask me that every once in a while. But yeah, that is going to get us ready. Um, but first off, let's go over equipment. All right, checking out our number one rod. Like I've said before, with a lot of smaller fish, they're not gonna help us out experience-wise or money-wise, so there's no reason to be using you know, rods for them, especially when you hook into a larger fish and it takes you forever to reel it in now. Might as well just go for something large. So we're gonna start out by using 35-pound Brutus, nine foot 10. I have two of them, uh, one with night crawlers and one with red worms, I believe. This is gonna allow us to go after some of those smaller fish like Oscars and bluegill and whatnot, but we might also get some buffalo, so that would be pretty cool. Um, I have my bass caster now. This is my 24 pound uh, bass rod. This is kind of like a, this is a pretty solid bass rod, I think. I think 24 pounds and 23 pounds on the Counselor 3500 is a good way to go, especially when you think that some of the larger unique peacock bass go up to like 24 pounds. Um, I'm assuming that this will hopefully be okay, um, but we will see, I guess. Hopefully, well, if we get into one of those, you know, it'll be worth it, I suppose, struggling for a bit. Going into number four, now this is new. You all remember me using a similar version of this with the Bass Boat Explorer Pack, but this is the Sharp Caster 7 foot with the Power Grab 7000. Very strong rod, very strong reel, 70.5 pounds on the reel and 72.5 on the rod. Uh, very strong braided line on here as well at 69.5. This is going to allow us to go after some of those larger tarpon as well as permits and, and red drum, uh, black drum, larger fish here at Blue Crab that we need to prepare for. So that is going to do. And then of course, you know, I don't want to go straight into the money farming of Blue Crab, but it, it would be, I would be remiss if I did not do that. So at six and seven, we do have heavy chasers, uh, one with finger mullets and the other one with sand fleas. So this is going to be kind of our, uh, once, uh, when we're trying to make our money back, basically, since I'm going to basically spend all of my money going to blue crowd, I'm going to be struggling for a bit if I don't sell some stuff or something, or we don't make our money back. So, um, at some point we are going to just go ahead and, uh, fish for this, maybe in the latter half of the day, we will see, but with all that underway, uh, you can see all of my equipment, please pause the video. If you're ever wondering, uh, stuff that I'm using, but with all that equipment out of the way, we can take a quick look at the fish here we have gizzard jad buffalo uh big mouth there black drum bluegill bonefish bowfin brown bullhead butterfly peacocks channel catfish common snook gaff top sail catfish golden shiners largemouth bass long nose garg oscars permits red drum red ear sunfish <gasps> Shoal bass, southern flounder, speckled peacock bass, striped bass, tarpon, and warmoth. So, 
lots of fish i want to say and i'm trying to remember if there's one maybe i just haven't been to it if, if there is one larger but i want to say blue crab has more species than any other map on the game uh but i can't i can't recall someone may know better uh it's just a quick look on the wiki page if anything but hey that's gonna do it all we have now to do everyone is go fishing we have the advanced license for blue crab already we are ready to go catch some monster fish ten thousand dollars for the advanced license fourteen thousand five hundred for travel cost we need to catch some big ones everyone <laughs> let's get into it you can see i i went out with the kansas city carp group and uh got some sun over the weekend so my face is properly suntanned for going fishing out near the ocean i feel anyway i hopefully hopefully you know Hopefully it helps in some way, but you know, I'll uh, I'll be posting something in the community page about that later on. Righto, righto, it is an early morning at Blue Crab. Lots of stuff, I can see fish jumping out to the left here. My God, there's just fish everywhere. I have to try this boat though. I know this is really good fishing right now. We have to turn it on. That's right, press E to start. <laughs> I remember this. Oh, I remember going so fast. Yet again, we're going so fast. This is awesome. I love this. Back to Blue Crab with the bass boats. This is sick. I am playing a public map right now just so we can see where people are fishing. What I remember about the Bass Boat Explorer pack was that a lot of people just like to farm for fish right on this right side over here. That's, that is what I remember. There's a bass, bass boat right there. And people fishing, that's what I remember. A little party on the shore right there is what I always remember. Um, and I remember all of this just being Tarpon Central, bro. So uh, that's what we're going to do. It's really good fishing here in the morning at 5 a.m. We are going to go out over here and try to hook a tarpon. Let's go ahead and get our big rod out now. Major popper. We're going to cast towards this shore over here. And we're going to work a popper, bro. Ooh! Ooh! Fish on already. Oh, it's a tarpon! Bro, here we go. Our first tarpon of the day. Freaking just... There we go. 25-pound tarpon to start it off. That is awesome. I could see his little face come up and, like, nibble at it. And then he just took that. I'm telling you, I love tarp uh, topwater fishing. But when you're topwater fishing for a giant fish like a tarpon, oh my god, it's just so much better. It's kind of what I remember about the popping, is that you kind of have to space them out like one, two, three. One, two, three. And that's kind of a good way to space it out. It's that darn plane again. Good god. It's so loud. Ooh, that's a big one right there. Two big ones. Ooh! Oh, you missed it! It looked like a giant white bass. Or striped bass, I guess. Not a white... I mean, that would have been a giant white bass. <laughs> but yeah, it looked like a giant striped bass. All right, we're changing up our uh, our style here. We're going to go... Um, Let's see. So I did bring the gourmet spoon. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get stuff on that, but I thought we could try it. Um, I also thought it could be cool to try out some... Um, I got a jig head with some soft baits that we could also try. So it's only a it's a it's a four aught X series, um, one and a half ounces. So we can we can sure cast it with this thing. I'm not sure what all we'll catch, but let's just give it a go. Let's try it. Having a little trouble keeping it off the bottom here. It seems to be rather heavy. So man, it's really difficult to keep this thing up. We're gonna have to switch to a um, something else here. Let's try crankbait. We caught that first tarpon on a black hopper. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, this is another tarpon. What in the world, dude? Hole in the boat. <laughs> now, this is just on a crankbait. Oh, he's got a tarpon, too. I didn't think about putting the anchor down. I honestly didn't picture pulling us in a boat. But that is certainly what he's doing. Oh, he's coming right at us now. Oh. That is awesome. Dude, I totally miss fishing for tarpon. 
There we go. Trophy tarpon, 57 pounds. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. We still got a ways to go. I mean, this is this is honestly like half the size is what I'm I'm hoping to get. But look at this dude. Dude, the tarpon, I'm telling you, so much fun. Such a fun fish. They fight so much. They're huge. They're just they're just a really cool fish. Oh wow, we've got some on top right here. So we've got one on dark lure and one on a bright lure so far. Not a good sign. <laughs> Alrighty. Now another place I used to catch tarpon at is right over here where all these people like to uh, throw out their bottom rods and farm for fish and stuff like that. I always like to uh, throw a top water right over here. So that is something we can try. Ooh, there's some right there. There we go. We got something on. I, I, I can tell just that swarm. Ooh, big old snook it looks like. Right on, trophy common snook right out of there. That's all right. We still haven't nailed ourselves a unique, but that is okay. I like that. I dig it, trophy snook. All right, I think we're gonna have to try a medium spoon now just to do something, something we haven't done yet. Let's throw out, uh, yeah, six, seventh, six aught medium spoon. Hopefully we can get some, some larger fish out of here. Trying that. Not sure what speed to use at the moment, but we will find out. There we go, fish on. Hold it in. Is this gonna be, oh, it's a trophy bonefish. Look at that thing. What an ugly fish. I've always thought that this bonefish, like I didn't honestly believe, it just looks like a cartoon fish. It doesn't even look like a real fish. <laughs> the giant eye and a super small mouth. It doesn't even look real. He knows happy though, aren't you, he nil? Yeah, he knows happy guy. That's awesome. There we go, that's a fish on. That's a pretty decent sized fish there, just going off the drag, but not pulling us out, so it couldn't be over 70 pounds. Oh, that's a big drum. That's a big drum, it looks like. Big red drum. Oh yeah, dude. Look at that thing, 42 pound trophy red drum. Those things get massive. Wow, that is awesome. Well, 42, 40, uh, yeah, 42 pound fish, the 49 inches got me for a second. 42 pound red drum, still a trophy. We have ways to go, everyone. This is really cool, though. I am really enjoying these fish. Uh, this is what I remember of blue crab as well. Just so many fish and all so fun. They're all massive. They're just a good time, every single one of them. And we've gotten two out of this little group right here so far. Let's just keep on going. Oh, there's something there. There we go, fish on. Hey, look at that little black drum. That is awesome. A little 25 pound black drum. Dude, we're catching the whole menagerie at the moment. A little common uh, red drum, I guess. Black drum now. That's a little one. Dude, they get up to 104 pounds, these black drum. That is insane. That's awesome, though. Right on. Getting them fish, everyone. There's a fish on. Oh, yanked it out of its mouth. Gosh dang it. Now there, there it is back again. There we go. We got him on this time. Ooh. This one seems a little bit stronger. He is trying to pull us, but at the same time, our boat is just being pulled instead. <laughs> he is not wanting to be brought into the boat, though. And you have to think that we have nearly all 70 pounds. Look at that. There we go. 44 pound black drum there up to trophy right on and a new personal record beating what we have uh, ever did uh, with the bass boat explorer pack look at that let's get the sunlight on him that is what I'm talking about dude that is sick still need to get ourselves a unique though 44 pounds that's awesome what are we at now 24,000 to come here with the uh, advanced license we're at 12,000 now oof still got 12,000 to go just to break even I'm just not having a lot of luck with these darn soft lures. It's terrible. I, you know, you lose your Carolina rig every time you use it. Um, you get a pack of 10, I think. But nothing's, I mean, we had a nibble here and there, a nudge here or there, but we just were not getting anything to take it. Which may just be a sign that it's time to just get into the shallows. Fish for, uh, fish for something on the bottom. 
All right, going to shore now. We're in the shallows here, getting our feet wet. Oh, he nail getting his feet wet. Um, we're gonna set up a stand. This is this is where I've always seen people throwing out. So we will uh, we will test how good this is, I suppose. Putting out our rod holder here. I only have two rods with me, so we will see. I have seven out barbless hook on the sand flea, or with the sand flea. We'll throw it out here, not too far, but into the deeps, hopefully. Six feet deep, anyway. <laughs> we will throw this one, seven knot as well, with the finger mullets out here. That's some action right there. There's a fish. We've got a fish. I don't have, I'm not sure what my drag should be set to at the moment. Is it a bonefish? We got ourselves a bonefish. Trophy bonefish. Very nice. Let's see what this is about. I'm adjusting my drag on the fly. We're just going to have to see what is a good drag. Oh, that's a permit. That's a big permit too. No freaking way, man. I think, that, oh my God. Dude, I think this might be my first permit. I don't remember catching one, honestly. I've tried to get them on lures for a long, long time, but this guy is acting crazy. It is taking us for a ride. Look how big that fish is. Bro, 70, it's in, oh, it's going to 80 now. Oh, he's coming straight at us now. We're able to pick up that line pretty quick. This reel has a retrieve of like 41.7 inches, which is just crazy. Just insane. Oof, 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 it's towards the bottom, 60. We're at 60, sub 60 now. It's my first, it's my first permit, but come on, man. Look at the size of that thing. Here we go, we're sub 30. Come on, you. Get in the net. That's the quarter. The quarter guys would say, get in the net. Bosh. Here we go. Trophy permit, my God, it's only a trophy. Look at the size of this thing. It's a freaking massive, man. 43 pounds and only a trophy. Insanity. He nailed. Oh my god. <laughs> that is insane. That's such a big fish <laughs> for 40 pounds. That is crazy. He nail is very happy right now. I would be too, He nail. My goodness gracious. That is awesome. Look at that fish. My god. It's just swinging around slapping He nail. He nail doesn't feel anything. Freaking alien, man. 1,845 XP though, goodness man, we freaking got that dude in the net. Let's go, let's try to get a few more before night time. I'm not sure if we can continue through night or not. Might be able to, we will uh, we'll find out, right? Two hours later. All right, well, we've had a few different nibbles, but honestly, I'm just not seeing much at nighttime. I think it's time to just go on to the next day and also to target some of these blue crab island exploration fish because we spent the first day just kind of having some fun, but it's time to take the missions a little bit more seriously. So let's go on to another area, maybe do some bass fishing at the same time. See how we do there, everyone. All right, ended up getting 23,000 from that first day, which really isn't that bad when we spent 24,000 to come here along with the advanced license. But uh, with that out of the way, it is time to go for some smaller fish. And this dock, I feel, is gonna be a good way to do it. As you can see, some of the smaller uh, fish making some uh, some puddle or whatever they're freaking called, some, some swirls or boils or whatever um, over here. So let's just throw out right over here. See if we can get anything there. Ooh, first rod taken there by something. Let's see here. Ooh, a tiny little fish. That is going to be a brown bullhead. Right on. That is our first fish there. 1.684 pounds. That is going to do it. That's all we need. Ooh, there it goes. Same fish going after it a second time. Said, I really want that. What do we have here? This is an Oscar. Wow, we that is awesome. This is my first Oscar I've ever caught. That's a big old fish there. My brother Zach had some Oscars in his uh, in his fish tank, and they were amazing. They were like little dogs, and they would just go after anything you put in there, just swallow it. It was amazing, and this little guy is pretty cool as well. Ooh, there he goes. There he's racing. My oh my, this might be more than we. Uh, more than we bargained for here on the wax worms since this is a 32 pound rod oh that was towards the top i don't know about that i honestly don't even know what we have here maybe a channel cat maybe a channel cat went after this uh 
Ugh, I am not sure. <laughs> I, uh, I honestly just have no idea what this could be at the moment. Oh, look at that. There we go. Big mouth buffalo. Now that is a first. Oh my golly. That really caught me off guard there. Um, very interesting. Let's take a look at this. That is insane. Little big mouth buffalo. That is a first for me. Very cool. Very cool fish. Reminds me a lot of a, uh, of a, well, not really a drum, but more like a carp. I know that the buffalo is kind of a, a native to the U.S. version of the carp almost without any barbels up there by the lips. But uh, yeah, very cool fish. I know that here in Kansas, I've been uh, wanting to target some buffalo. So uh, hopefully we're able to do that here soon. There he goes. There's a red ear, right? Or it's a bluegill. Ugh. The frick, man. What the frick, man? Wait. Why... It would at least make me feel better if we at least could cross off a bluegill or something, but no, that's not even one of the ones we're going for. Alrighty, I think it's time to pick up. We've caught a few different species, but I think we need to move on to another location. We haven't checked out any of this uh, open area over here. I'll have to show you actually on the uh, on the map here. We'll grab our boat and then uh, I think we're going to have to head out into, into kind of the uh, Everglades like area. So uh, you can see how this is all the open ocean area around here, but this is all really like fishing the Everglades. Um, so that is where we're going to go now. Turn around here. Tight, fast, tight turn. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can still do this. Sometimes I'll hit something. I'm really not sure where I'm going. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Look at that, I'm a natural. I'm a natural. Ooh. <laughs> we just pulled it out of there, another bluegill. Gosh dang it, we need a red ear, man. Stop it with the bluegill. We need a red ear. Ooh, there's a lot of big fish on top of the water right now. Ooh. The frick, a little shoal bass at the very end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stinking shoal bass. What were they thinking? There's a fish. There's a fish. There we go. Zagar, look at that. We'll need that here in a little while, I think. Trophy long nose gar can't even fit it on the screen. It's freaking, it's, it's nose is so long. <laughs> Go figure. Look at that. That's actually really nice. You know, I think that the gar in this game look really awesome. They've done a great job uh, with the textures and everything. Ooh, fish on. Small fish, though. A little Oscar or something. Another shoal bass. All right. Well, that's something anyway. Ooh, there's a fish. Oh, we missed it. <sighs> you pain, man. That's... There it goes. Right there, buddy. Let's go. Another small shoal bass, I'm assuming. Hey, look at that! We just got a regular largemouth. That's awesome. I kind of want to throw a buzzbait over top of them now. Now I, I know where they are. Do a little buzzing. There we go. Fish on. Ooh, he's got some spunk. Whoa, look at that! Our first unicorn largemouth! Oh man, right on! Only 8.7 pounds, but still, that's awesome. He knows happy. He knows happy. Our first unique is, of course, a stupid largemouth. $1,000, though. <laughs> you can't complain. You can't complain about that. That's awesome, though. Well, let's let's go ahead and uh, place... We'll place a marker here, just so we remember. Largemouth. Yeah. Unique largemouth right there on the buzz bait, baby. Right on. There's so many places to fish around here. I feel like it just gets confusing after a while. This is the thing that gets me about these areas. Is that, like I said, they all look the same. They all look the same. And I cannot tell one good location from uh, another. Because it's just grass. You're just looking around. There. Oh, there's grass over here. Oh, look at this location. It's got grass, too. Like, I'm, like, going around. I see these, like, cabins sticking up, and I'm like, well, maybe that's something we can try over by them. But honestly, at the at this point, nothing. Nothing that is standing out to me. Uh. Woo! 
Ooh, uh, at least we can uh, drive around a speedboat everywhere we go, basically. All right, made it back. Oh, look at this cool kayak over here. Whose kayak is this? Eh, a little bit more. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Stop, 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 stop. Like John Hammond, Jurassic Park. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Top notch. We are here. Ready or sunfish land. Come on. Give me a ready or sunfish. Where are you? This is so bad. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Why? Why did it come for it like the very, very end? Jeez Louise us. Come on, fish. Hey, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh God, what did we get? What did we get? Freaking big mouth buffalo again. Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay, well, I tell you what, everyone. Oh, we've caught a lot of fish today. We've caught tarpon, we've caught bass, we've caught gar, we've caught freaking Oscars and all sorts of stuff. I have a puppy barking outside, obviously, as you can tell. Live streams Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Comment down below really helps me out. Tell me what you think about Blue Crab. Are you excited? Have you fished here before? Or are you looking forward to coming fishing here? Because there's some saltwater-ish fish. There are some freshwater fish. Giant bass that we're still chasing after. There's a lot of fun stuff out here, guys, and I'm very excited to get at it. So, Hopefully you are too. Subscribe if you haven't already for future videos. Remember to like it. I'm sure I've said it like three or four different times now, but yeah, please do. And as always, everyone, see you next time. Stay safe and remember, we're one planet, one family, game on.